All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So first of all, here's the test, the summary. Step one, your H0 is always going to be O sub i equals E sub i. Your H1 is always going to be O sub i divided by E sub i. Um, your critical value is always going to be using your chi-squared table with your alpha and your number of categories, k minus 1. Mm -hmm. um, and then step three, calculate the test stat, chi-squared, using the sum of, you take every O, subtract the E, square it, divide by your expected value. Right, so if you expect, take the number of, of um, number of orange soda people you got, subtract the number of orange soda people you expected, square that, divide by the number of orange people you orange soda people you expected. Right, add all those up. Um, if if your O's and E's are close, the number is going to be really small, which is why you can't use decimals. You can't use Proportions. Someone tried to do that earlier. If you use fraction proportions for all of them, like 13% and 40%, then you're talking about 13% of a person minusing 17% of a person. That's always going to be less than one. You're always going to get a really tiny number. Mm -hmm. So, and you're not dealing with parts of a person. So you're always going to get something really, really small. And you're never going to reject H0. And you're going to have completely wrong answers. Right, I had someone come into the MLC once. She's like, I always, I always get like a test stat, a chi squared of less than one. I'm like, well, of course, you're using fractions, you're using decibels. You're always going to get, so you can't do that, right? Because you're not taking into consideration the number of people that are being sampled. Mm -hmm. So you, it's always got to be the whole number of people being sampled. Um, so then the study will reject the null hypothesis and summarize your findings for the claim. Let's take a look at the problem you guys have. And like I said, in this case it says not equally likely. So in this one instance, your claim is H1, but almost always your claim is going to be H0. And on the exam, your claim is going to be H0. Because mm -hmm. usually you're claiming that, it, that they are equally likely or that they do fit some, um, you know, some prescribed percentages. Mm -hmm. Okay. So your first step, let's figure out what our table is first. So here's our table. What are our options? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. Six. And those are your observes and your experience. <coughs> so you observed 30, 27, 48, 37, 27, and 31. Mm -hmm. And then they're saying equal to likely or not equal to likely. So it means that, what do they expect for each one to be? The same, equally likely. So if you have 20, uh, 200 rolls, if you add these up, you get 200, or they actually told you 200 rolls, how many should be in each category? The same. Mm -hmm. So you're going to divide by what? Six. Six, because there's six categories. So there should all be the same 200 divided by six. 200 divided by six, that goes into these guys. 33.3 into all of them. At least three sig figs. If you put 33, that is too few sig, sig figs. At least three. All right, so then you're going to have your step one. H naught is what? Anyone? H naught is O1 equals, equals O sub I equals O sub I. E sub I. E sub I, great. H naught, H, H1 is going to be then what? O sub I. Does not equal E sub I? Do you guys know this? No, I'm saying, I'm saying E sub for subscript I. E sub I. E sub I. Um, all right, step two, <coughs> critical value. Uh, let's see, we have degrees of freedom is going to equal 6 minus 1, so that's 5. What do you guys get for your critical value? 12.833. 833. Draw your picture straight up and then curve out. That's okay. 12.833. Um, and then you're going to find your test stat. Yes, you have to write them all out. 
I squared is equal to 30 minus 33.3 squared divided by 33.3 plus 27 minus 33.3 squared divided by 33.3 plus. Um, I'm just going to put dot, dot, dot because, or should I, you know, I'll write it out in a minute. But I don't want to waste your time watching me write it out. So would you guys, would you, and then here's what I would do. I would do it, I would do it using lists. I know I showed you doing lists a second ago, didn't I? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so what did you guys get? Uh, 9.761. 9.77? Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Great. So huh? that's less than 12. It's going to be over here. Mm. So then step four, do not reject H0. So depending on which way you went with this, you will either say, well, definitely you do not have enough evidence. The way it's written in the sheet, you'd say to support the claim that they're not equally likely. I had you change it and say, and do it like that. So in this case, you would say to, to reject the claim, <coughs> C change above claim that all sides, sides equally likely. Right? Everybody all good with that? Okay. Um, do lab problem number one on the next, on, on your notes. Next page on your notes. Is there anything I should comment about that? Nope, looks pretty normal.